Do you want to learn to catch beasts like this? I'm going to show you how in this video. Stay tuned. Check it out. Alright, so we're going to get some big lake trout here. I'll show you what kind of tackle I'm using. Go over here to rods. I'm using the Scran Snagger. Strength 28.66. The Lago Spinning Reel. 13.23 pound fluoro. The smallest like the light jig head size 4 with a medium grub and the location we are at we are down here in the southwest lake there are multiple other spots you can fish I've caught them up here and I believe you can catch them in a couple of these lakes around here we are going to get a boat Go out here somewhere where it's a little deeper. Somewhere around the middle. We want to be fishing the deep parts of the lake. We're up here. Alright, we got our cast. Now we're going to just let it sink. Just wait for it to sink all the way down. Our drag, I'm set to 43 now. I might have to reset that just a very light set, really quick. Some of them are too big for me, but it's like almost set was like 20 And now we're coming near the bottom, so now we're just gonna jig. What you wanna see is in the bottom right corner, to know you're doing it right, when you raise your rod, you wanna see that it's actually raising. See there, that one it didn't. So now that I see that, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit and continue jigging. See how we kind of jump up to... There we go. We're hooked on. I can up my drag on this a bit. And then a good technique I find is just pump them up. Bring them up like this. It'll be a fight. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a few minute battle probably. But it's worth it. While you're watching this video, you want to do this too. You want to get a lake trout. Hopefully this guy isn't... huge. Yeah, like I said, you just want to, when you're jigging, make sure your lure is coming off of the bottom and then dropping back down. If it's not, reel in a bit of the slack. And these guys like to dive down deep and sit deep, so you just want to pump them up. All I'm doing here is I'm holding my reel, my left mouse button and then right mouse button to bring it back up and then you reel in the slack which if you look in the yellow footage at the bottom right whenever i pump up and come back down i normally gain a couple of feet like there we just gained six feet but he goes back down a little bit and if you have a good enough setup it can help them from help stop them from diving back down so this is me jigging you don't have to jig for them you can use a stop and go on like the inline spinner just send that to the bottom and then do stop and go but you need to make sure you're at the bottom go deep these guys sit deep like here, we're in 128 feet of water.
He's coming in pretty nice now, so he's probably not a very big one. If I had to guess, I would say like 10 pounds maybe. Not even. Might be like an 8 pounder. Getting in a weird camera angle now. Cause he's like kind of directly below us. Just keep pumping them up. You just gotta keep pumping with these guys. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep diving down and it's gonna take you double the amount of time. So, now we're kind of getting a bit of a view of him. Secure a catch. And there we go. 8.7 pound lake trout. Now that's it. That's how easy it is. It's not that difficult. And yeah, we just caught him on the grub. It took us three minutes. That's the only thing. With these light setups like this going for these guys, it takes some time. Now, I would probably catch one or two in an area, then I would go over a little ways. Like, the size of this lake, I would probably make like four to five stops, taking some casts. But I'll try and show you here what I do if I don't get a bite right away. <laughs> so let this sink. And all I do is, I'll jig in a spot for, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. And then I'll bring it in like, I don't know, 15 feet. I just kind of do it by feel. I just bring it in a little bit, and then I jig there again. Just by reeling a little bit. Or, you can kind of not reel while you're jigging like it'll get to the point where it stops so we're at the bottom there I'll reel up a bit and start jigging again now we're going back up like here now I have to reel I'll bring it up a bit now it drops you raise to 128 feet drops back down and we're not really raising anymore, so I'll reel in a little more. Or back up. And then you just sit here and watch your feet in the bottom right. So I'm not really going up at all when I'm doing that. So I'll reel it. Kind of bringing in the slack. And you can just do this the whole way till it's all the way back. Ready to cast again, pretty much. As long as you're deep enough. There's no sense in doing this if you're not deep enough. Like if you're too close to the boat and you're not at the correct depth, there's no need to keep doing it. And there we go. There's another one. This guy is just running with my line. All right, and we got him back in. So there you go. I can get bigger fish. We got a silver 17 pounder and that's a pretty nice one. Get a little snap of that. So you can get larger lake trout with lighter setups. It just takes more time. That one took us six minutes and one tip I will give you is 
when your tension is super red and you're just on the verge of where it's flashing and gonna snap don't pump it because that'll be too much and you might snap it that's the case lower down the drag a bit then pump them when it's slightly under tension but you gotta be patient these are not fish you can just horse in you gotta be patient with them and yeah so like I said that's on the medium grub with the size 4 light jig head with 11 pound line I believe it is something like that I showed you guys at the start of the video we have a pretty light setup for these guys and we catch them so if you learned something or you liked watching me catch this leave a like and don't forget to subscribe peace I'm gonna cut that a little bit for a, for a YouTube video to show people how to get these guys. That's a seven minute fight. Damn.